Okay. So anyway, one of the things we told you, remember, is that you don't use this if you have a painted will or a clear coated will. So one of the things that they say is when you wipe it, if it comes out black, it is not clear coated. Or if it is clear coated where the clear coat has worn off, it does turn black. Yeah. Now we already know that this is a clear coated will. But we've decided that, well, we could just work on the damaged areas, but we decided to go ahead and clean up the entire wheel just to make it look better. I know. I guess we probably don't have to, but we decided to do it anyway because we also have a clear coat. Because this way, we take it all down and then do one coat of clear coat, make it all look nice and finished. So one of the first steps is we have a nice cloth. Well, actually, the cloth that we use are old bed sheets. I always figured the old bed sheets, you know, when they're talking about 300 thread count, that's a pretty nice cloth. And so, well, it's not being used for bedding, but it does make a great cloth to rub on compound. So we took the compound, okay, very generously. Wiped it, as you can see, wiped it all over the place. So the next thing we're gonna get ready for, ready? The drill. Okay. Okay, so we have a clear coated tire that's rusted and we are knocking off the rubbing compound with, this, with a very gentle hand. This is 400 grit, but, Made, meant to make it look better. Let's see if you can get a good picture in here. Oh, one of the things I want you to notice is, remember where you refill at your tires? We put that at the top. Yeah, the valve to... stem should be at the top. Mm -hmm. For obvious reasons. <laughs> oh, this is one of those times if you are concerned if your hand is too heavy or not too heavy, always err on the lighter yeah, side. Yeah, always go, and we're going to go straight across, not a little bit. You know, just not what? Take a whole piece at a time, not just go, no, not jab it in and stuff, just like, like that, see? Okay. You're also going to notice I didn't turn it on full speed. It's an advantage of cleaning, clearing the, you got to clear the clean coat off. See, we're actually doing, we're doing a more difficult job than this stuff is designed for. So we're using their, we're using their stuff to do it with. Oh, this is also one of those times where you want to make sure you can see it, which is why we're doing it in the bright sunlight. Yep. I, mean, I mean, although I'm a little bit shaded by the car, but you want to really be able to see this when you're doing it. Okay. The other part is if you don't have a drill, you don't have to use one, you can do this by hand. Yep. Okay, so you can already see the difference in the wheel. And all we've done is the 400, we still have the 800, the 1000, and the 3000 grip, but it's already looking better. Yeah. And and then like what, what the reason trick is is that we're using this stuff like it wasn't meant to be used for a simple reason. Did we do something like that? Yeah, because we have tarnish on a clear coated wheel. Mm -hmm. And basically the only thing you can do is to clean. You have to clean that part out and then redo it. Then redo it. So we're cleaning, we're using the 3M wheel restor works restoration thing as it was meant to be done wrong. Which is what well, we because can... part of it is we do have a painted wheel that's coated. Yeah. So two things that they tell you not to do is don't do it with a wheel that is painted or coated. And the problem is, is that you can get damage to the wheel that takes the paint and uh, takes the paint and the clear coat off. And if you don't do something, which is basically what we're doing, the clear because you can see the the tarnish is basically almost totally gone, the rust and tarnish. So you, you know, we can't do anything about where the holes are, where the lug nuts are, because we're not really trying to do that. So, but it, the damage has been done because it's been hit up against uh, curbing, and it takes the paint and the clear takes the clear coat and the paint off, 
and you got to get rid of that. Mm -hmm. So, and that's what we did with their, their stuff, which they won't recommend you doing, but... But we're showing you things to do and not to do. Remember, like, when we were talking about this wheel, the 400? You think 400 is very fine? Well, it goes up to 3,000, but 400 is strong enough to knock out your paint as well as the clear coat. Yeah, and, and also, it also is violate. They said that it's not meant to take out scratches and stuff, but we did. So we, it does? Yeah. It will. With a heavier hand. With a heavier hand. But see, the, the challenge with a lot of people is that they focus on getting the scratch out and then they realize that with all the other stuff they've done. We happen to have everything that we need to go ahead and repair it. Yeah, we can take here. this and make it like it was brand new after we've, we've used the 3M product as it is not meant to be done so that we can restore the wheel. We can get, all we're trying to do is to get the tarnish and the rust off of it. So we are showing you ways to utilize a product that is not what they recommend. But we will also say, unless you really know what you're doing, only follow the recommended instructions. That's right. And here, here's a tip on uh, basically, like I said, put a little, um, uh, uh, actually, before, I'm not going to do this, this is basically, they might be unhappy, before you buy the 3M restoration kit, get, go spend 30 cents and buy the finest piece of sandpaper you can find. And then you take a little piece of that sandpaper and go into an area that basically doesn't show up on your wheel and see if it's uh, clear coat if it's clear coat or, um, or or paint a little bit of the paint's going to come off so you know without buying the kit if you know what you're doing and you have clear coat and stuff available to fix it then do it or if your wheel is really badly tarnished you really need to take it all off and then because you'll lose your wheel with that rust after a while yeah you will. so we're, we're just giving you an option but don't misuse it unless you know what you're doing and we do And now is when you got to actually put some pressure on everything. Oh, now I put pressure? You have to put lots of pressure on. We've got to clean off the... I know, isn't this the fun part? This is where we make the well look very pretty, pretty. <laughs> I know. Clean it up so we can have a finishing look because part of it is, is when you have a wheel, and you want to preserve it and not buy new wheels. Yeah. Yeah. It's $150 to replace this wheel because of um, rust and damage to it. And hitting curbs. And hitting curbs. Not like I would do anything. Well, actually, like they hit the curbs and then it took all the took the clear coat, the paint off, and then it started rusting and tarnishing. Well, that's a good reason you don't hit curbs. Yeah. So we're just trying to. We're, it's 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 more about saving the wheel then it is, you know, it will look pretty when we're done. Mm -hmm. But we really want to save that wheel because we were actually pricing wheels this weekend. <laughs> I know. The wheel costs more than a tire. And we've got four of them like that. So. Look at that. Ooh. Yeah, starting to shine. So wish the sun was cooperating, but unfortunately the sun is not cooperating today. This is the part where it makes it a whole lot easier to have a drill than to do it by hand. Yeah. I'm doing it two-handed. Yeah. Um, it makes it a whole lot easier to control. Well, it's a heavy drill. Oh, that too. The the, the lighter drills are all battery powered, but like I said, we don't we we don't recommend that the ordinary person does this, and 3M certainly would not recommend that you do it. But we're uh, we could see the damage to the wheel, and unfortunately, nobody you know. 
I mean, it, actually, all you have to do is to go to the back wheel. The back wheel. And worse. the back wheel is just as bad as this one. Well, these are the two worst wheels because, well, these are the wheels on the curbside. <laughs> yeah, and it, you know, what people don't understand is that, that when you damage, uh, uh, when you take the clear coat and the paint off of the wheel, it opens it up to be just disintegrating, with, you know, because there's nothing covering it anymore. Yeah, that's, well, that's part of it, is the clear coat and the paint are there to help protect the wheel. Yeah, and when we don't have that anymore, you don't have the protection. And this has actually been, I don't know how many years has it been getting rusted. <laughs> yeah. Not that many, only like three and a half, four. Yeah. That's it. Yep, yeah. and then they quoted us 150 to start on the wheels. That was not a fun thing to have to hear. But, you know, like 135 for the tire and 150 for a new wheel. That was a cheap tire. The tire we want was like 200 and some odd dollars. Yeah, but we were in Los Angeles. You had to put wheels to get. So at the moment, with the high price of gas, you've got to get the tire. Oh, it's looking better already. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Okay. So anyway, we're going to get back to work. See you in a little bit. Okay. So anyway, remember you've been watching us work on these wheels. Well, I will tell you. Should we show them a before? This is like a before wheel. Although this is the worst wheel. It wasn't quite as bad as that one, but this is what it looks like now. We still have the tape on it. It's drying. But doesn't that look a whole lot better? Now this, of course, is on the wheel that we are doing it not exactly like 3M said to do, um, because one of the things they tell you is don't do it if you have paint on it or a clear coat. Well, guess what? We had paint and a clear coat. We did it anyway because, well, part of it is you still have to knock some of those areas out. So with rubbing compound, their grid um, also air a little bit more on the cautious side, but yes, you can do it. But only do it, okay, follow 3M instructions carefully unless you know what you're doing then you use the 3m products as a tool to help you accomplish what you're doing so part of it is, is as you can see we use a little bit of paint yeah. to go ahead yeah we use the wheel we, we use some uh, metal we use some metal uh so we made, made made the same color as the tires except it had metal flakes so guess what all the tires are going to wheels are going to look like they're going to look right very now. sparkly <laughs> yeah and we're using the 3m product to make the wheels better looking well no if you if you look at that, compare it to the other one. It looks there's no comparison. The tarnish like, is all gone. Looks like the a brand damage new wheel. is all By gone. By the time we take that out, it's gonna look like a brand new wheel. Yeah, that's yeah. that saved us hundred and fifty dollars for a little bit of work. I know. It seems a whole, like a whole lot easier. And honestly, the can the because we do stuff we, the uh, the paint with the, the 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 metal paint that we use for this for the clear coat, we already had so it didn't yeah, only, already, the only the three only the three M products is what it costs to do this wheel, mm -hmm. and hundred and fifty dollars, I do that to a wheel, mm -hmm. and then like I said, one well, that's that's actually one of the older ones for the other car, but this one I think the wheels are even more expensive, and some of the wheels are actually if you know on some of your cars. No, but that was hundred and fifty at a junkyard. Yeah. So and then we'd uh, so one hundred and fifty at a junkyard. Uh, and the wheels would have had to have been restored because they were rusted like you would not believe. But this, I am very proud of what we did with this thing. I mean, just look at that, folks. Yeah, it looks very, very good. Yeah, I'm like if you're going to do painting and stuff and leave it on the car, remember you have to stick, fill those holes with stuff mm -hmm. so that basically nothing gets well, onto you your you, Well, yeah, the areas that were rusted out from where your wheel was damaged, yeah. those have to be recoated because otherwise it continues. Rust. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Clean it out. Rust it. Clean it up. Oh, all of that. Anyway, come join us for more. This is kicking the tires <laughs> with the 3M's wheel restoration kit.